Now the next bit can be just as complicated because it's a little bit confusing. This ARP loop. Now, ARP loop, F means forward. B means backwards. Nothing's happening though, it's going that way. Remember, the arpeggiator always moves from left to right. That doesn't mean that this will move from right to left. It's to do with how the notes are played. Forward and back is forward and back, and back and forward is back and forward. Now, I'll show you that. So, when the arpeggiator plays forward, listen. It plays like this. Oh, right, sorry, I need to play two notes. So that's forward, playing those two notes. Obviously making sure that you've selected whatever it is that you want to play here. So, so as played, we'll play. Backward, so that's forward. The first note, then to the next note. Backward is exactly what you would expect. The other way round. So if we change that to backward. backwards and forward and back is forward for the first note then it jumps to the last note so if I play a C an E and an F it goes C that's it moving forward then it jumps to the last note and plays backwards so it sounds like this helps and backwards and forwards backwards forward I mean is the opposite of forward backward I know it's confusing so backwards forward as it plays whatever note so in this case the E it plays then it's or whatever notes you play If I change it to backwards forwards, so there you go. I hope that's made it a bit simpler to understand. It is quite difficult, but yeah, that again, as I said, the best thing to do with this is just mess around with it, um, and then you'll start to understand that it does take a bit of work. But it's worth it because the arpeggiator is awesome. The next bit is pretty self-explanatory. Octaves. So at the moment it's playing the same note. If I change that to an op 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 one octave, every second note goes up an octave. If I change it to two, the third note it goes normal, up one octave, up a second. Steps, however many steps you want it to play. So... 16. And then you have slides. Slides interesting. Now slides related, if you go to the global tab, to the glide feature here. Now what it does, we've got two notes here and as you can see one overlaps the other. So if I press play, Hear them, you can hear it playing both notes. But if we put slide on, go to global, and turn up the glide, and come back to ARP, we need to change the gate length. Now, because the gate length at the moment is at 2, it's not really affecting it. But if we put the gate length to 5, 
Now listen. The notes are sliding into each other. Listen. Great for the kind of TB3 acid, uh, TB303 acid type sounds that is. So just mess around with it again and you'll get there in the end. These bits are pretty self-explanatory so we'll whiz through this section. So steps, you can tell it to play the next step, so it moves on to the next step. Tell it to play the same step. So if we go, right wait a minute we need to change that to make it a bit easier. Bring it back down to four. Oh, it's because of this, isn't it? Yeah, we need to change that. So step, so it's playing two notes, because they're all set to next. Change this one to same. Playing the same as that note. Playing the same as the first note. Playing the same as the last note. Again, it depends how many notes you hold down. It depends on your sequence. The easiest way to learn it is to mess around with it. It's probably better to show you that in forward. So yeah, just mess around with that. You can get some crazy stuff going on with that, um, but the best thing to do is try it. Length, pretty self-explanatory. Everything's on one at the moment. If I change it all to two, it'll be there for two beats. One, two, 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 one, two. three for three beats. And four. You guessed it. Easy. The gate you've already seen just affects the length of the notes. So if we put them all to one, put some to five and one to three. Voices, how many voices or notes can be played at once. This allows you to play arpeggiated chords. So at the moment it's playing one note at a time. Monophonic basically. So if I change that to three, hear the chord, if I change that one to three as well. Change them all to three in fact and you maybe hear it a bit better. Playing a chord, the three notes that I'm pushing down. And the bottom one is probably the easiest to understand. Transposition, you can go up 12 semitones or down 12 semitones, up and down one octave. So down, up a third, and down a fifth. mess around with it but that's where you can get your little patterns going and stuff so if you've got a long note that you want to arpeggiate there you go it's that simple so that's the arpeggiator basically the only thing left is the ARP Mod and ARP Mod 2. Now these are just um, modulation sources. Same as any other modulation source. They can be done on the little dots. We'll use it on the tuning in this instance. So if I right click, select ARP Mod. 
on this one and we'll do it at mod 2 on this one. So, put them right up. So the art mod's now going to affect the tuning. Positive, negative. So let's just do, and it's only four, so we'll just do it like that. And we'll go art mod 2. So I'll take off art mod 2 for the time being. So the tuning on oscillator 1 will be affected by this, and it runs in complete unison with the arpeggiator. You've guessed it, Art Mod 2 is exactly the same. It's just giving you two modulation sources. But of course, I'd like you can you can use it for anything that can be modulated. So just have fun with it, mess around with it, and do some crazy stuff. Be adventurous. Okay, I think that's it. I know that was a tough one to get to grips with. Especially the ARP order, order and the ARP loop. It is really just a case of messing around with it. You'll get it eventually. But I hope these little diagrams here kind of helped you. Well, not that one. To show you the way that the ARP actually works. Normal. Forward. Backward. Forward. Backward. And backward. Forward. Complicated, I know, but you get some crazy results. Just enjoy it, mess around with it, and you'll be okay. Okay, thanks for watching. Make sure you go to www.zebratutorials.com and sign up there if you haven't done already. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.